Today's video will be about valley climates with a main focus on anabatic and catabatic flows as well as aspect. This will be part one of a series of videos about valley climates. The direction in which the slope is facing is known as aspect. In the southern hemisphere, the north facing slope receives more direct sunlight, therefore making it warmer. Just to explain this a little bit, in the drawing you can see that there's a north and a south. And the little guy is standing on the slope that is facing the north. Therefore, he's standing on the north facing slope. As you can see in this drawing, the south facing slope does not receive direct sunlight. So, this picture is drawn in the southern hemisphere because the north facing slope is receiving direct sunlight. So, it is warmer than the south facing slope. Now, in the northern hemisphere, the south, facing, the south facing slope receives more direct sunlight, making it warmer. Anabatic winds. These winds occur during the day. During the day, the slopes heat up faster due to the more direct sunlight on them. So, a low pressure is formed on the slopes. The valleys take longer to heat up, therefore there is a high pressure down in the valley. Remember, air blows from high to low, so therefore the air blows up the slope from the high pressure to the low pressure. These winds are also called valley winds. Catabatic winds. These winds occur during the night. Now an easy way to remember the difference between anabatic and catabatic is remember that cats are more active during the night, so therefore catabatic winds happen during the night. Now the slopes cool down faster due to terrestrial radiation, therefore a high pressure is formed on the slopes. The valleys take longer to cool down, therefore there is a low pressure in the valley. The air subsides down the slopes from the high pressure to the low pressure, therefore it blows down slope. These winds are also called mountain winds.